back in the tally acid. Freaky. Uh, freaky. <laughs> um, so uh, we, this recap is going to contain our fast for Monday, which I can't remember the date from, it was on like the 16th, uh, might be the 17th, um, and also today, which is Thursday the 20th of July. Um, so we'll start off the Monday class, which was held in Chantal's bar well, by Patrick Air, where we are again this coming Monday. And we had a request um, for, leaders decoration. for leaders' decorations. So this class wasn't planned, we just had members there and we asked, what, what would you like to do? So this is what we came up with, just part of this request is to teach something that we've never taught before. <laughs> or maybe we've done before, so <laughs> yeah, this is what we start, came up with. So we started off with a back off show as our basic move, but as the follower was coming into her uh, back step from my right hand side to my left, I was going to match her to uh, his decoration, so this is a decoration we have talked before, but we've never used it in this form, to get a back bite. We can then step over and take the follower into a reverse spiral for coming out. So there's one decoration in there. We have other opportunities in this for these other decorations. So from this, if I just put my left foot straight behind her, I can do a rhythmic decoration with a straight layer uh, kick, so a linear layer forward before coming out. So think more rhythmic music, uh, maybe uh, Darienzo or something with a strong beat in it, you can do this kick out in front and step over. Um, we also did a decoration, if I can get the right away from there, as I step through and again through the slide rope, I can get a gancho in here. But I can also decorate it by doing a couple of pique taps there. Again, that's a combination we never taught, which is leaders gancho with PK taps in there. Or what we can do from that position as well, I'm wondering if I started this way around, where we get a different angle. As I come through, I can extend my leg between my leg, as in like a tartar, but then hook in to get a decoration there. And then finally, we took this out into a volcada to come out. So that was this Monday's class. Uh, now, on to Thursday's class. So we have some new beginners with us tonight, um, um, who've never danced. So we did a lot about the embrace, tango posture, so leaning forward, getting that flex in the knee, the embrace with basically right arm for the leader coming into the follower's left arm, left arm for the leader coming to the side, looking over the follower's shoulder, followers arm resting around the back as far as is comfortable, balance solo in. And then talking about where the chest goes is where the follower's free leg goes. My chest goes forward, the leg goes back and projects out the way so we can walk on steady beats, on slower beats. We also did some side steps, change in the size of those side steps, and also putting in some shoe signs. So step to the side, sinking her down to get the following used to pin her weight and not um, bring that leg in quickly, and then put my right leg in between my follower's legs. As I lift my chest out, her leg is impeded from coming in, which means that she brings this leg up into a shoe shine, making sure she brings the knee on the outside, maintaining that contact, shining the inside of the shoe, not flexing the foot, ready to go back out again. Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in another class very soon. Thank you for watching this Urban Tango Nights recap. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo. You can find more of our class summaries down here and other videos of us dancing and tango over here. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Meta. Links are in the description below. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link below.